good evening friends welcome to engineering clinic today we are going to install ubuntu 24.04 in motobook 60 it's a windows laptop so the architecture is core i5 core 5 210h series which was launched in the month of december 2024 and first to start with first we download ubuntu from the website ubuntu.org so we will go here ubuntu.com and we will click the desktop uh desktop it is intel uh, intel ubuntu so ubuntu x86 we are download so later on we will go to one uh, bootloader software called rufus rufus so search in google like rufus bootloader so you can download the rufus 4.7 portable so i just use the portable version so that you can easily port it across so you can copy in pen drive you can copy in any other place so that's why i am using a portable option so there you can able to uh, select the iso file so the iso file already you have downloaded ubuntu iso file so select the ubuntu iso file once it is iso file downloaded it will ask for the type of partition give it as gpt so there will be two things mbr and gpt so select uh, which of the uh, your machine supports whether master boot record or gpt so in my case it is gpt so i created the gpt and after that it will be asking you in recommendation mode dd mode or iso mode you can uh, select dd mode and click yes so once it is uh, done it will take some time of 13 15 minutes or 13 minutes and then it's done now after that insert the pen drive into your uh, motobook and uh, press f12 and it will be giving you two options whether you want to go to windows boot manager or the usb device the usb device is from samsung so i am just giving samsung usb device and try or install ubuntu there is a first one so press enter so once it press enter for the first time it might take some time to get this screen this pink color screen after that you will be giving you the installation option so what kind of language you want to select i want to select as english you can select english then any accessibility then uh, us english or uk english i can select us english then it will be asking for the Wi-Fi password. So it is always recommended to have a Wi-Fi password so that you can download some necessary third-party drivers. In case if you want to update the bootloader, you can able to update it. So in my case, I skipped it because that doesn't make any difference. Then click install Ubuntu, then interactive installation, and go for extended selection so that you can download all the third-party drivers and other thing. So select all these options and click next. So once it is done, it will be asking you whether you want to erase the disk or I want to install alongside Windows. here you may get some error saying that if uh, windows is having uh, the bit locker encrypted so it never uh, allow you to uh, partition your uh, drive so uh, disable it and come back again here now in my case i am uh, predominantly using ubuntu instead of windows so i have just giving uh, 300 gb for ubuntu and rest 200 gb for windows so that's why i have given the partition for ubuntu then give the corresponding username so my name is pradeep kumar so i am just giving the username as pradeep kumar and uh, the password there so give a, a long password so in my since it is only for testing i am just giving on uh, normal password so in case if you, in case if you are trying it so give a uh, strong password okay so then uh, select india and then uh, then that's all so once it is done uh, it so here is the complete installation after install i am just opening the terminal in my ubuntu i am using cat slash prox slash cpu info now you can see the cpu info there are totally 12 cores 0 to 11 12 cores and intel core 5 210h and this is the system architecture of the cpu totally 12 cores of cpu similarly i am just showing you the memory information cat prox mem info so once it is there it is 16 gb of ram can see totally 16 gb of ram which is also been shown so i am just leveraging the complete use of uh, ram and the storage for uh, for ubuntu as even the processor and you can check the system monitor there we have 12 cores there cpu 0 to cpu 1 to cpu 12 totally 12 cores of cpu then 16 gigabytes of ram and uh, the disk usage and the network usage so this is the information on the uh, system monitor
Ubuntu 24.04 is successfully installed in Motobook. So similar kind of procedure will be for all other laptops also. So only setting to be done is to disable the BitLocker encryption. So by default, Motobooks and some of the Dell laptops and Lenovo laptops, they will enable the BitLocker. So when you en enable the BitLocker, encryption is enabled. Most of the time uh, that the laptop seems to be slow even though you have a SSD. So better you can able to disable it even if you don't want to intend to install Ubuntu you can uh, disable it so that uh, it can be looking faster and that's all we have successfully done it. So thank you friends thanks for watching the video so please subscribe to my channel and send this information to your uh, friends your students and your scholars and other people. So. Uh, some more videos will be coming in the simulation aspect of it. Thank you very much.